Velour is a city and the administrative headquarters of Velour district in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Located on the banks of the Pilar River in the northeastern part of Tamil Nadu, the city has been ruled, at different times, by the Pallavas, medieval Cholas, later Cholas, Vijayanagar Empire, Rashtrakutas, Carnatic Kingdom and the British. The city has four zones totally 60 wards covering an area of 87.915 square kilometers and has a population of 423,425 based on the 2001 census. It is located about 135 kilometers 84 miles west of Chennai and about 210 kilometers 130 miles east of Bangalore. Velour is administered by Velour Municipal Corporation under a mayor. It is a part of Velour State Assembly constituency and Velour Lok Sabha constituency. Velour is the home of Christian Medical College and Hospital and Velour Institute of Technology. It is also a major center for medical tourism in India. Velour region is the top exporter of finished leather goods in the country. Velour leather accounts for more than 37% of the country's export of leather and leather related products. The government of India has released the next round of Smart Cities project list. The Tamil Nadu State District Velour also got a place on the list of 27 cities in the project. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> According to legend, the region was surrounded by velan trees, babul trees, resulting in the place to be called Velour. Topic: History. The recorded history of Velour dates back to the 9th century, as seen from a Chola inscriptions in the Animalayar Temple in Taruvanamalai. During the first half of the 19th century, the town came under British rule. Geography and climate Velour is at 12.92 degrees north 79.13 degrees east, 12.92, 79.13, 220 metres above the mean sea level. The city has a semi-arid climate. It is in Velour district of the South Indian state, Tamil Nadu, 135 kilometres west of the state capital Chennai. Velour lies in the Eastern Ghats region and Pilar River Basin. The topography is almost plain with slopes from west to east. There are no notable mineral resources. Black loam soil is found in parts of Velour Talak. The other type of soil in the city is chiefly gravelly, stony and sandy of the red variety. Velour experiences a tropical savanna climate, Köppen climate classification A. The temperature ranges from a maximum of 39.4 degrees Celsius (102.9 degrees Fahrenheit) to a minimum of 18.4 degrees Celsius (65.1 degrees Fahrenheit). Like the rest of the state, April to June are the hottest months and December to January are the coldest. Velour receives 1034.1 mm (40.71 in) of rainfall every year, unlike most other parts of the state which depends totally on the northeast monsoon. Velour receives moderate rain in both southwest and northeast monsoon. The southwest monsoon, with an onset in June and lasting up to September, brings rainfall of 517.1 mm, with September being the rainiest month. The northeast monsoon which lasts from October to December brings rainfall of 388.4 mm. The humidity ranges from 40% to 63% during summer and 67% to 86% during winter. <laughs> Demographics According to 2011 census, the Velour district had a population of 3,936,331 with a sex ratio of 1,034 females for every 1,000 males, much above the national average of 929. A total of 19,898 were under the age of 6, constituting 10,093 males and 9,805 females. Scheduled castes and scheduled tribes accounted for 14.16% and 0.18% of the population respectively. The average literacy of the city was 77.15%, compared to the national average of 72.99%. The city had a total of 42,598 households. 
There were a total of 70,257 workers, comprising 297 cultivators, 395 main agricultural laborers, 4,387 in household industries, 59,281 other workers, 5,897 marginal workers, 59 marginal cultivators, 74 marginal agricultural laborers, 667 marginal workers in household industries, and 5,097 other marginal workers. As per the religious census of 2011, Velour had 80.09% Hindus, 14.28% Muslims, 4.79% Christians, 0.02% Sikhs, 0.03% Buddhists, 0.51% Jains, 0.26% following other religions and 0.02% following no religion or did not indicate any religious preference. As of 2001, out of the total area, 69. 0.88% of the land was marked developed and 31.12% of the city remained undeveloped. Out of the developed area, 55.76% was used for residential purposes, 8.34% for commercial, 1.58% for industrial, 3.3% for educational, 16.46% for public and semi-public and 10.12% for transport and communication. The population density is not uniform, it is high in areas like Arugandampundi and lower in the peripheral areas such as Punthadam. The average density of the city is 241 persons per hectare. Topic administration and politics Velour is the headquarters of the Velour district. The town was constituted as a third grade municipality in 1866, promoted to first grade during 1947, selection grade from 1970 and a municipal corporation from 1 August 2008. The Velour Municipal Corporation has 60 wards and there is an elected councillor for each of those wards. The functions of the municipal corporation are devolved into six departments, general administration, personnel, engineering, revenue, public health, city planning and information technology it. All these departments are under the control of a municipal commissioner who is the executive head. The legislative powers are vested in a body of 60 members, one each from the 60 wards. The legislative body is headed by an elected mayor assisted by a deputy mayor. Velour is a part of the Velour and Katpati and it elects two members to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly once every five years. From the 1977 elections, All India Anna Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam AIADMK won the assembly twice in 1977 and 2009 elections, four times by Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam in 1980, 1984 and 1989, twice by Indian National Congress Inc. in 1991 and 2001 elections and twice by Tamil Manila Congress TMC in 1996 and 2001 elections. The current MLA of Velour constituency is P. Karthikeyan from DMK Party. Velour is a part of the Velour Lok Sabha constituency and Arakanam underscore Lok underscore Sabha underscore constituency. It had the following six assembly constituencies before 2009 delimitation Katpati, Gudayatham, Pernambut, SC, Anakit Village, Velour, and Arni. After delimitation, it is currently composed of Velour, Anakit Village, Kilvajithanayankuppam SC, Gudayatham, Vaniambadi and Amber from 1951. The Velour Parliament seat was held by the Indian National Congress for four times during 1957, 1962, 1989 and 1991 elections, AIADMK twice during 1984 and 2014 elections, CWL once during 1951 elections, and Independent once during 1980 elections, Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam five times during the 1967, 1971, 1996, 2004 and 2009 elections, once each by NCO during 1977 elections, and twice by Patali Makal Kachi PMK during 1998 and 1999 elections. The current member of parliament from the constituency is B. Sengutuvan from the AIADMK party. Law and order is maintained by the Velour subdivision of the Tamil Nadu police, headed by a deputy superintendent. There are four police stations in the town, with one of them being an all women station. There are special units like prohibition enforcement, district crime, social justice and human rights, district crime records, and special branch that operate at the district level police division, headed by a superintendent of police.
Topic economy According to Indian Census of 2001, the urban workforce participation rate of Velour is 43.64%. Velour, being the headquarters of the district, has registered growth in the tertiary sector activities, with a corresponding decrease in the primary sector. Major employment is provided by the leather industry, agricultural trading, and industries in and around the city. Approximately 83.35% of the workforce is employed in tertiary sector comprising transport, services and commerce. The secondary sector activities like manufacturing and household industries employs 13.52% of the workforce. Male workers participation is high compared to the female work participation .Hundreds of leather and tannery facilities are around Velour and nearby towns, such as Renipet, Amber and Vaniambadi. The Velour district is the top exporter of finished leather goods in the country. Velour leather accounts for more than 37% of the country's export of leather and leather-related products such as finished leathers, shoes, garments and gloves. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited BHEL is one of the nine major government-owned enterprises in the nation. The boiler auxiliaries plant of BHEL in Renipet is the industrial hub of Velour. Chemical plants in the Renipet SIPCOT economic zone are a major source of income to the residents of Velour. Eid Perry is a sanitary ware manufacturing company with 38% of the world's market share in bathroom accessories. Tirumalai Chemicals and Greaves are among the international brands that have their manufacturing units in the city. Automobile and mechanical companies of global brands, including Same Dutes Far, TV's Breaks India, Mitsubishi, Greaves Cotton and MRF have their manufacturing units in the area. Breaks India Scholinger's foundry division is located at Velour Scholinger and is a major employer in the area. Velour is known as the leather hub of India Asia's biggest explosives manufacturing company, Tamil Nadu Explosives Limited Tel, is in Velour at Katpadi. This is India's only government explosives company with more than a thousand employees. The company is headed by a senior Indian administrative service officer. Kramsky Stamping and Molding India Private Limited, a German precision metal and plastic integrated component manufacturing company with automotive, telecommunications, electronics and medical applications is in Ariankadu, near Velour. Major businesses in the city centre are on Officers Line, Town Hall Road, Long Bazaar and Bangalore, Scudder, Arni, Gandhi and Kapadi Roads. Many boarding and lodging houses are in and around Scudder and Gandhi Roads. Microsoft Corporation India Private Limited announced the launch of 14 Microsoft Innovation Centers Mikes in India. Trichy, Velour, Coimbatore, Madurai and Salem in Tamil Nadu, Christian Medical College and Hospital CMCH, on Ida Scudder Road in the heart of the city, is Velour's largest private employer and has a large floating population from other parts of India and abroad. Lodging, hospitals and allied businesses are among the major sources of income generated in the central part of the city. The Government Velour Medical College and Hospital VMCH is located at Adukamparai in Velour. With the advent of hospitals such as Apollo KH Hospital in Melvishuram and Sri Narayani Hospital and Research Centre in Sripuram, coupled with colleges such as CMC and VIT and other engineering and science colleges, the healthcare industry is growing rapidly. The mainstay for people in the rural areas, more than agriculture, is industries such as weaving, beady, and matchstick rolling. The Indian Army has a number of recruits from the Velour district, especially from Kamavanpet, which is known as the military village, and military spending is a major sources of income. Topic education Velour is considered a prominent destination for medical and technological education in India. It has a state government university, a private technological university, one government and one private medical school and several engineering and arts and science colleges. The country's first stem cell translational research centre was established in Velour in December 2005. The central government's biotechnology department selected the Christian Medical College CMC as the first in a series of centers, since it already had world-class clinical hematology and biochemistry departments. The college has made a breakthrough which attracted the attention of the country's medical and scientific community. The Center for Stem Cell Research at the Christian Medical College succeeded in reprogramming cells from adult mice to make them function like stem cells found in the human embryo. The Agricultural Research Station at Viringipuram is in the northeastern zone of Tamil Nadu. 
It is one of 32 research stations of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University The Government of India sponsored National Watershed Development Project for Rainfed Areas scheme has been in operation since October 1997, with the main objective being trials of conservation measures conducted in water and soil of 18 watersheds in the Velour and Taruvanamalai districts. Thiruvallavar University was split off from the University of Madras, as located near Valimalai, Velour. Nearly all the government-run arts and science colleges in Velour, Taruvanamalai, Velapuram and Kudalore districts are affiliated with Thiruvallavar University. Thanthai Periyar Government Institute of Technology is the only government engineering college in Velour. The Velour Institute of Technology has been ranked best private engineering university in India by the magazine India Today. Christian Medical College and Hospital CMCH, one of the largest hospitals in India and Asia, is based out of Velour. It is a major health care provider for the surrounding districts. Auxilium Women's College, founded in 1954, is the first women's college in Velour district. Other arts and sciences colleges in the city are the Donabakiam Krishnaswami Mudhalyar Women's College (DKM) near Sainathapuram and the Mudurangam Government Arts College (MGAC) in Ottery, near Bagayam. Voorhees College founded 1898 is the oldest college in the district and known as the institution where S. Radhakrishnan former president of India studied. A commemorative stamp for the centenary of the college was issued by the Government of India. C. Abdul Hakim College is in Melvishuram. Arignar Anna Arts College for Women AAA is located in Wallahapet. The Government Law College, Velour was established in 2008. It offers a three-year Bachelor of Laws BL degree with an annual intake of 80 students. The college is in Katpadi, Velour. There are several Arabic colleges in Velour such as the Madrasa al baqiyath Salahath, popularly known as Baqiyath, founded by Shah Abdul Wahab, which is the second oldest Arabic college in India after Darul Uloom Dioband in Uttar Pradesh, Shifalan Institute of Health, Research and Leprosy Centre SIHR and LC called Karagiri Hospital is located near Velour, was established in 1955 to care for the leprosy patients. Topic. Tourism Velour Fort is the most prominent landmark in the city. During British rule, Tipu Sultan's family and the last king of Sri Lanka, Vikrama Rajasinha, were held as royal prisoners in the fort. The fort houses a church, a mosque and a Hindu temple, the latter known for its carvings. The first rebellion against British rule erupted at this fort in 1806, and it witnessed the massacre of the Vijayanagara royal family of Emperor Srirang Araya. The fortifications consist of a main rampart, broken at irregular intervals by round towers and rectangular projections. The main walls are built of massive granite stones, surrounded by a broad moat fed with water by subterranean pipes from the Suryagunta Reservoir. Within the fort is the similarly aged Jalakandaswara Temple. It is a noteworthy example of military architecture in South India. The fort houses the Tipu Mahal where Tipu Sultan is believed to have stayed with his family during the war with the British. The graves of Tipu's sons are found at Velour. It is administered by the Archaeological Survey of India. Velour Fort has been declared a monument of national importance and is a noted tourist attraction. The state government museum is inside the fort. It was opened to the public in 1985. It consists of objects of art, archaeology, prehistory, weapons, sculptures, bronzes, wood carvings, handicrafts, numismatics, philately, botany, geology and zoology. Historical monuments of the erstwhile composite North Arcot district are contained in the gallery. Special exhibits include a bronze double sword from Velour Talak dating to 400 BC, stone sculptures from the late Pallava to Vijayanagar periods, ivory chess boards and coins used by the last Kandyan king of Sri Lanka, Vikrama Raja Singha. Educational activities at the museum include an art camp for school students and the study of inscriptions and iconography for college students. Jalakandaswarar Temple, Sri Lakshmi Golden Temple, and the Walajapet Donvantri Temple and Panai Navagraha Kote Temple are among the temples in Velour. Sri Lakshmi Temple, popularly known as Golden Temple, is a newly built temple and spiritual park in Tirumalaikoti, Velour. It is approximately 8 km from the Velour bus terminus. The temple covers an area of 100 acres and has been constructed by Velour-based Sri Narayani Pidam headed by Sakti Amma. 
It has intricate carvings, handmade by hundreds of gold artisans specializing in temple architecture. The exterior is laid with gold sheets and plates, with construction reported to have cost 300 crore rupees $65 million. About 1,500 kilograms of gold was used, the largest amount in the world. Ritnagira Murugan Temple is another prominent Hindu temple in the city. Viringipuram, 17 kilometers from Velour, is noted for its 1,000 year old ancient Margabandishwar Shiva Temple. Assumption Cathedral and the 150 year old St. John's Church inside the fort are among the churches in Velour. The big mosque, in the heart of the city, contains the largest Arabic college in India. The city is also houses over 50 mosques some of which are over 100 years old. Topic: Transport. Topic: Road. The Velour Municipal Corporation maintains 104.332 kilometers, 64.829 miles of roads. It has 50.259 kilometers, 31.229 miles concrete roads, 6.243 kilometers, 3.879 miles kacha roads and 47.88 kilometers, 29.75 miles bituminous road. The national highways passing through or terminating at Velour as per new numbering are Velour is connected with major cities in the states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Bus service is available to Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore, Tiruvananthapuram, Tirupati, Kadapa, Anantapur, Salem, Chittor, Kuppam, Kolar, Kolar Gold Fields, Madanapal, Vijayawada, Hyderabad, Mangalore, Karur, Mayaladutharai, Aranthangi, Manargudi, Nagapatanam, Goa, Hosur, Nagarkoil, Marthandam, Thuthakudi, Thiruchender, Sengatai, Kudalore, Kurnool, Trichy, Thirayur, Thamampati, Thiruvannamalai, Tindavanam, Pondicherry, Kalakurichi, Villapuram, Kanyakumari, Arani, Madurai, Tirunelveli, Kanchipuram, Tirutani, Kalpakam, Palikanda, Panai, Gudayatham, Dharmapuri, Erod, Tirupur, Palakkad, Krishnagiri, Mumbai Jinji and other major towns and cities in South India. Velour is served by a city bus service, which connects the city, suburbs and other places of interest. The bus service extends about 30 km from the city centre. There are two bus terminals, the town bus terminus opposite the fort and near CMC Hospital and the central bus terminus near Green Circle. Other bus terminals are located at Chitter Bus Stand near VIT Road, Bagayam and Katpati Junction Bus Stop. The bus stands are maintained by the Velour Municipal Corporation. Topic: <laughs> Rail <laughs> Velour has three main railway stations, Katpadi Junction, Velour Cantonment and Velour Town. The largest is Velour Katpadi Junction, 5 km north of CMC Hospital. This is a major railway junction on the Chennai-Bangalore broad gauge line running to Chennai, Bangalore, Tirupati, New Delhi, Howrah, Kanyakumari. There are direct rail links to Vijayawada Junction, Tirupati, Jhansi, Bhubaneswar, Nagpur, Bangalore, Coimbatore, Lucknow, Dehradun, Agartala, Ahmedabad, Ludhiana, Bhopal Junction, Mumbai, Mangalore, Tirukshirapalli, Balasparkorba, Patna, Ernakulam, Trivandrum, Kanyakumari, Shirdi, Kanpur, Gaya, Danbad, Jammu Tawi, Madurai, Balai, Gwalior, Chennai Central, Hara Station, New Delhi Railway Station, Coimbatore, Guwahati, Silchar, Howrah, Nagarkoil, Kori Kode, Kolam, Thrissur, Jaipur, Dibrugar, Varanasi, Pune, Hyderabad, Vishakhapatnam, and other major cities. More than 150 trains cross the Velour Kapadi junction daily, nearly 250 to 265 trains halts this junction. This is the major and busiest junction in South India, and first important railway station in Velour district. Velour cantonment is in Suriakulam on the Villapuram Tirupati broad gauge line, 8 km from Kapadi junction. Emu and passenger trains to Tirupati, Chennai, and Arakanam depart from here. The 150 km broad gauge line was extended to Villapuram in January 2010 and connects Velour and South Tamil Nadu, however, as of October 2010 it was not serviced by passenger trains. The line was opened for goods trains in June 2010. An emu from Velour cantonment to Chennai Central was introduced on December 22, 2008. 
Velour Town Station is in Kanavatam on the line connecting Katpati Junction with Villapuram Junction via Taruvanamalai. Air The Velour Airport came up in the year 1934 as located at Abdullapuram, 11 km away from the city centre. It had been used to land trainer aircraft and helicopters. It was reactivated in as a part of Airports Authority of India Idle Airports Activation Program in July 2006 to facilitate regular flying by trainee pilots of the Madras Flying Club whose operations were restricted with the increase in scheduled aircraft movement at Chennai Airport. Velour Airport being revived under the Regional Connectivity Scheme RCS or Udin, runway and terminal building works are under progress, all the required infrastructure works scheduled to be ready by June 2019 for operations. <laughs> <laughs> Utility services Electricity supply to Velour is regulated and distributed by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board The city and its suburbs forms the Velour Electricity Distribution Circle. A chief distribution engineer is stationed at the regional headquarters. Water supply is provided by the Velour Municipal Corporation from the Pilar River through Pilar Headworks and Karungaputhar Headworks and distributed through 10 overhead tanks. As of 2005, there were 16,371 connections against 33,772 households. In 2000-2001, a total of 7.4 million litres of water was supplied daily for households in the city. The other sources of water are Ottery Lake, Sathuvancheri Town Panchayat, Panai and Street Bore Wells. As per the municipal data for 2011, about 83 metric tons of solid waste were collected from Velour every day by door-to-door -door collection. The source segregation and dumping was carried out by the Sanitary Department of the Velour Municipal Corporation. The Municipal Corporation covered 16 wards for waste collection as of 2001. There is no underground drainage system and the sewerage system for disposal of sullage is through septic tanks, open drains and public conveniences. The municipal corporation maintained 145 kilometers 90 miles of storm water drains in 2011. As of 2011, 24 government and private hospitals and one veterinary hospital take care of the health care needs of the citizens. As of 2011, the municipal corporation maintained 5,241 street lamps, 735 sodium lamps, 73 mercury vapor lamps, 4,432 tube lights and one high-mast beam lamp. The municipal corporation operates the Nethaji daily market that caters to the needs of the city and the rural areas around it. See also. List of areas of Velour List of people from Velour Notes <laughs> <laughs>